Hello everybody and welcome in the last part of this theory E4-D5 while we take and in this section um, black will go knight to f6 what to play d4 is the best move and here I believe that black has two main variation should go bishop to g4 and should go that will take on d5 so when black will go bishop to g4 we are playing knight to f3 and seems like black is okay when we take on d5 by baby and we are going for short castle so it looks like strong attack on d4 but don't worry h3 take take not possible to take on d4 because you will win baby after check on c6 for this reason maybe is best move go to d6 but we are playing c3 and after a long castle the best move is short castle e5 and we are going to b3 and black is under attack uh, it's good to remember this variation that yes we are in advantage of two bishops and if not in two bishop we are uh, we are in better position because we have good pawn structure that's a big advantage from the opening and uh, the rest of the game is up to you if you will win this pawn structure so uh, here bishop to g4 is not strong too much or you should not be worried here i believe the best move is knight to f3 and black has options bishop to g4 or black has option g6 uh, after bishop to g4 you are playing the same moves bishop to e2 e6 short castle and now c4 remember that you are playing c4 only after short castle and now you are playing knight to c3 some players should try to play bishop to take on f3 and take on c4 so if black will take on c4 he is in big difficulties after d5 and remember this move this is a really surprise for him so Believe me that you will open the game, you will play in open files and black will be under heavy attack. So that's not a good idea to play this position. For this reason, black should take on d4, but again you will take on b7, you will play to e4. If black is playing c5, you are playing knight to b5 and this is a really strong move uh, with sh big advantage because at least whatever happened you have better strong better pawn structure and black is in the center of his monarch and it's difficult to save everything in this position so at least two bishops forever coming back and this is bad position for him so uh, where we are we are after knight to c3 and um, bishop to e7 and the strong move is c5 uh, i remember this move because then you can play with fun and you can win a lot of games because this is maybe surprise move what black should play knight to d5 and we are playing h3 so another good move to remember and if Black will take, you will take advantage of two bishops, you will take on d5, and then your plan is, I think, b4, b5, and advantage. At least we have two bishops, and believe me, two bishops are strong bishops. Here, maybe you can play bishop to g4, but this position is really good for you, because plan is b4, a4, b5, a5, you can play rook to c1, and, you know, only you are playing for win winning in this game so c5 what else uh, should go uh, bishop to f5 you are playing baby to b3 you're going to attack on d5 and you are going to attack on b7 so you are attacking knight and b7 uh, big, pain, big pawn so of course black will take you will take and maybe he's going rook to b8 you are playing strong move bishop to b5 what you wish to take on c6 or maybe you wish to go e5 with a really strong attack on black bad bone structure it's difficult to save weaknesses which black will have after opening so bishop to f5 is not anymore it's not good anymore so 
h3, maybe black will go bishop to h5, and you are playing the same position to b3, maybe he will take, he will take here, but you know, check, and rook to d1, and you can see that black is nearly lost, because yes, should take on c5, you will take, take, and what's attack? Maybe bishop to g5 and uh, it's not a, a really big fun for black to play this position immediately after opening you can you should have a really big advantage if you will play in this position move c5 so i will show you this variation once again to remember we are playing e4 then d4 we are not playing c4 but we are going for short castle well, we are in this position we are not playing c4 immediately, we are going for short castle uh, really fast. After short casting, we are playing c4 and we are playing knight to c3. We are not worried that black will take on f3 because in both variation here we are playing d5 and rook to e1 with a really strong moves. And if black will take on d4, we are taking on b7. After f5, we are playing knight to b5 and this is a really good move of course to take on e4 is bad for bad pawn structure so black need to take on c on b5 check and this is a really bad bad dream for black to play this game with you everywhere is a really strong advantage for you so you can enjoy this position so what I miss, I hope I, I, I show you everything. So for this reason, uh, after knight to f3 is the best move, g6. You are playing the same maneuvers. So bishop to e2, small castle, c4 after small, uh, short castle, knight to c6, knight to c3, and maybe bishop to g4. Same move, c5 is strong. And maybe to b3, attack on d5, attack on b7, and we are in nearly the same position because it's difficult for black uh, to not play b6 and bishop to a3, it's a really good position for you and you can see that black is immediately after opening under attack. So maybe this position to remember and uh, really I don't believe that somebody else will play this opening with you once again. So, for this reason is the best answer knight to c6 and you are playing d5. So, if is black is going bishop to g4, you are playing c5. If black is going knight to c6, you are playing d5. And if black is going knight to a5, you are playing c5 and check with me this variation. He will take on c3, I will take on b6. Uh, he's going to g7, of course, what else? And beautiful move, bishop to f4. Why it is so beautiful? If he will take, I will win the game because I will have more material or a strong attack. Uh, I should take the knight on a5 and I should go bishop to h6 and take the rook because it's checkmate on g7. Maybe like this is a really nearly one position for white. So you can see that there's a lot of surprise for black in this opening. Knight to e5 is the best move. So we remember that the bad move is knight to a5 and knight to a5 is the best move, yes, c5, and you can see that the center is the rolling center, is going c5, is going d5, and that's the, the biggest advantage of what you can take from this opening. So, you are playing d5, c5, and black need to take on f3, and then need to go to d7. If black is going to c4, you can run this knight once again, and in this position, you know, you have d5, c5, two bishops, advantage in space time. That's a really beautiful game for you. For this reason, 
is it's the best move from knight to d7 but you can ask black what he's playing this game because every piece is in the last rank and you know you can enjoy bishop to e3 bishop to e2 you, you will save the two bishops and after c6 f4 once again this is mad knight should go to d7 you will take on c6 and you will attack the weak um, big pawn on c6 you can see that this game is really funny to play and that's beautiful game and you can win really lots of game if you will follow this moves maybe it's too fast for you so i will show once again or you can watch this video more than once and i hope that you will uh, write any message that you won beautiful games because you saw this video c4 after after short castle and you are waiting if black is playing with bishop or knight if he's playing with bishop you are playing c4 c5 and um, baby to b3 attack on b7 and if black is not playing bishop to g4 and is playing knight to c6 you are playing c5 or d5 c5 change change and then you can see that you are playing a really good moves bishop to e3 you will save two bishops and after c6 probably you are playing f4 you will take on c6 and you will attack Pawn on c6. That's nearly everything what you need to remember to be able to play this opening like master. I show you all three games, all three videos, all three parts, and I believe you will play and you will enjoy to play for white e4 d5 because this is really not really good or great opening for black and that's the reason that nearly nobody in the world from the top players is playing this opening so that should be the reason that with this information you could improve your chess and with this information or with this video you should be a really improved chess player thank you very much for watching i hope i will see you next time i believe that you should like this video thank you for any comments like dislike and if you will follow our youtube chess channel i will be very happy thank you very much once again and last time i will say you goodbye bye bye